<laughs> so cute. Just keep going, they're not real. She's giving you the eye. Daddy. Nice, Leah. No matter what life brings, if it's you and me, we're ready for anything. It is Thursday and we are on our way to the park. Rev, I let bring Stroller and Hoot. And I don't know if this is the cutest thing you've ever seen, but she's absolutely adorable. And Aerie's wearing her new hat and I have her new carrier. You guys having fun? It's like 56 degrees outside. <laughs> um, but it does not feel that cold. When it's in the shade, it's a little bit chilly with the wind, but in the sun, it's been fine. So. She's having fun. We're all bundled up. We're gonna go have fun at the park for a little bit. Walking! Yeah, walking! Walking! You can do it. Look how good you're doing. Keep going. Keep going! No, no. no you're doing so good, Rev. Keep going. Climb up another one. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Harry's just been enjoying this. She's just chilling out here. <laughs> so cute. She's been cuddling a lot. All right, we're coming up on a house that's decorated scarily. Come on, let's go. Do you see the decorations? So this is the house. It's okay, they're not real. Come on, let's keep going. Just keep going, they're not real. It's okay, keep going. There's still these ones. Are you unsure of all this? She keeps stopping and looking back at the house. Okay. It's okay. Do you wanna go back there? You wanna go back and look at it again? Yeah. Oh, really? Do you like that stuff? Do you wanna go see it again? No. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's go. What sound does a ghost make? <laughs> no, can you say boo? boo? Yeah. Are you making ghost sounds? What sound does a ghost make? Boo! Good job. Let's go. We're back from the park and these two are playing together. And Rev keeps putting the fireman hat on Ari and she's like, what in the world? Do you want to show them your shirt you've been wearing today? Can you show off your shirt? No. Well, it says everything's s'more fun with you. <laughs> Are you playing with your sister? No. Is dad at home? Are you guys all cuddling together? Well, you're oh, not really right cuddling, baby. you're wiggling. Oh my goodness, child, you got drool everywhere. See, that's what happens when you teeth. Remember we let our anger out on Mr. Bear? Now can you show me gentle? Can you show daddy gentle? Can you show your sister gentle? Good job. Can I have a kiss? Oh! I love you. Can you say dada? She's giving you the eye. Like what are you doing to me? <laughs> So we've got dinner cooking. We actually ran out of propane for the grill, so I had to run to the store to get some more, and that took like 20 minutes. But we've got steaks on the grill. We've got sweet potato fries in the oven. Daddy. Oh, you want daddy to put them on? Okay, set them in front of me. There, see? I've got sandals. Whoa. Harry's getting in some more of that baby lad weaning. <laughs> nice, Levi. No denying, the girl's got growl. But can she get out like this? Huh? Can you get out like this? And bring me. So we had a little family movie night. Revelin needed to go to bed. Harry needed to go to bed. <laughs> 
So both the girls just went down. They're both still awake, but they're just kind of moving around a bit. But we are gonna end today's vlog. Yesterday's question was, what is something nice that you have done for a friend? You go first. So mine is not gonna be like a specific time. It's kind of just like a roundabout answer. And because my love language is gift giving, I tend to like just give things to my friends if I have extras or I don't use it anymore. Like recently, like a friend was saying that she really wanted to get swaddles and I have like 14 of them. So I was just like, you can have one of mine. <laughs> Um, I just like giving things to people. They say that like the love language you are is the one that you like to also do, um, which kind of collides with us. Cause you know, like I like to give gifts. He likes to save money. So, you know, love you. I love you too. <laughs> so I can't think of like anything major that I've done for friends, but like I always, if they call and they need a ride or something, I'll give them a ride if I'm available. Or actually, there is one time, Joel, Joel called me while I was at work and said, hey, do you get off soon? Cause my car is broke and I need a ride somewhere to get parts that I need. And so right after work, which was like half hour later, I went over and helped him. And I, I was, I think I was actually with him for like an hour and a half or something because he was trying to fix his brakes on his car. Today's question of the day, because we had a little bit of Halloween theme at one point, is going to be, do you know what you're going to be for Halloween? Let us know down in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And as always, we will see your wonderful faces on Monday. Monday. Bye. With God as my witness, never had it so good jumping in the love. 97 percentile for height at 27.56 inches. She was 15 pounds, 7.5 ounces, which is the 37th percentile for weight. And her head circumference was 17 centimeters, which is less than one percentile. So she's got a little head. She's extremely tall and very thin.